Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Finding the right apartment. Hey, I've been searching for a new apartment, and I could use some advice. How did you find the right place when you were apartment hunting? Sure, happy to help. When I was looking for an apartment, I started by making a list of my must-haves and deal breakers. It helped me stay focused during my search. What are your priorities? Well, I need a pet-friendly place with a washer dryer in the unit. I also prefer a quiet neighborhood with good public transportation access. Budget-wise, I'm looking for something within a certain range. Those are great starting points. I recommend checking online listings and reaching out to real estate agents. Also, consider driving or walking around neighborhoods you like to see if there are any for rent, signs. It can be helpful to visit potential apartments in person to get a feel for the place and the surrounding area. That makes sense. I'll definitely take those steps. Did you come across any challenges during your search? Definitely. It's important to be patient and persistent. Some apartments might not meet all your criteria, but don't settle for something that doesn't feel right. Keep searching, and I'm sure you'll find the perfect place that fits your needs and feels like home. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I'll find my dream apartment soon. You're welcome. Best of luck with your search. I'm sure you'll find an amazing apartment that checks all your boxes. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need any more help along the way. Learning new customs. Never stop or get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up. Till I'm really excited about my upcoming trip to Japan, but I'm a bit nervous about unfamiliar customs. Do you have any tips for learning and adapting to new customs? Absolutely. Learning new customs can be both challenging and rewarding. One key tip is to do some research before your trip. Read about the local customs, traditions, and etiquette in Japan. Understanding basic greetings, table manners, and gift-giving practices can go a long way in showing respect. That's a good point. I'll definitely do my homework. But what if I make a mistake? Making mistakes is a natural part of the learning process. Don't worry too much about it. The locals generally appreciate the effort you make to respect their customs. If you do make a mistake, apologize politely and learn from it. Most people will be understanding and helpful. That's reassuring. Any other suggestions? Yes. Immerse yourself in the local culture as much as possible. Try local foods, visit cultural landmarks, and interact with the locals. This will not only enhance your understanding of their customs, but also enrich your overall travel experience. That sounds like a great approach. I'll make sure to embrace the local culture during my trip. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Enjoy your trip to Japan and have fun learning about their customs. It's an incredible opportunity to broaden your horizons and appreciate the diversity of our world. Safe travels. Conveying messages for guests. Hi there. I'm the new receptionist. I noticed we have some messages for our guests. How do we typically convey them? Welcome to the team. When we have messages for guests, we usually deliver them through their room phones or leave written notes in their rooms. What messages do we have? 
We have three messages. One is for Mr. Anderson regarding a package delivery. The second is for Miss Johnson. Her colleague called and left a callback number. And the third is for Mr. Thompson. His dinner reservation has been confirmed for tonight. Great. Let's start with Mr. Anderson. I'll call his room and inform him about the package. Could you write down the details for the other messages? I'll make sure they receive them as well. Sure, I'll jot down the information. Once you're done with Mr. Anderson, I'll leave the notes in the respective rooms for Miss Johnson and Mr. Thompson. Perfect. Let's handle these messages efficiently and ensure our guests receive the information in a timely manner. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Thank you for your guidance. I appreciate your support. Let's get these messages delivered promptly and provide excellent service to our guests. Absolutely. We're a team and together, we'll make sure our guests have a great experience. Let's go above and beyond for them. I'll be right back. Hey, do you have a minute to talk about the new project? Sure, what's up? I just wanted to get your thoughts on the design proposal before we submit it. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Great, I'll pull it up. What do you think about the color scheme? Hmm, I'm not sure. Can you give me a second to think? Yeah, take your time. Actually, I need to step out for a moment. Can we continue this in a few minutes? Oh, sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to take care of something really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you here. Thanks, I won't be long. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows where a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Extending the stay. Hey, I've been thinking about our trip, and I have an idea. What if we extend our stay for a few more days? Oh, that's an interesting thought. What's the reason behind wanting to extend? Well, we've been having such a great time exploring the city, and there are still so many places we haven't visited. I feel like a few extra days would allow us to make the most of our experience. I agree. There's still so much more to see and do. Extending our stay would give us the opportunity to dive deeper into the local culture and maybe even take a day trip to a nearby attraction. Exactly. Plus, it would give us some relaxation time too, without feeling rushed to see everything in a short period. 
I think it's a fantastic idea. Let's check if our accommodations have availability for the additional days, and if so, we can adjust our travel plans accordingly. Great! I'll reach out to the hotel and inquire about the extension. It'll be worth it to make the most of this incredible trip. I couldn't agree more. Let's seize the opportunity and create even more wonderful memories. Lost and found. Hey, have you seen my keys anywhere? I think I lost them. Oh no, that's not good. When did you last have them? I had them in my pocket this morning when I left the house, but now they're nowhere to be found. Let's retrace your steps. Where did you go after leaving the house? I went to the grocery store, the park, and then stopped by the cave for a quick coffee. Okay, let's start by calling those places and asking if someone found your keys. Maybe they're at the lost and found. Good idea. I'll give them a call right away. Hopefully, someone has turned them in. While you make the calls, I'll check around the house one more time, just in case they fell somewhere. Thank you so much for helping me out. I really need those keys. No problem at all. I know how important they are. Let's keep searching until we find them. Special request. Hey, I have a special request. Can you spare a few minutes to listen? Of course, I'm all ears. What can I do for you? Well, my birthday is coming up, and I was wondering if you could help me plan a surprise party. Absolutely. I'd be honored to assist you with that. What kind of party are you envisioning? I'd love to have a small gathering with close friends and family at my favorite restaurant. It would mean a lot to me if you could help organize the details and coordinate with everyone. Consider it done. I'll make reservations, reach out to the guests, and ensure everything goes smoothly. Is there any particular theme or decorations you'd like for the party? Something elegant yet fun would be great. Maybe a touch of gold and a few balloons to set the celebratory mood. Noted. I'll take care of the decorations and make sure the ambience matches your vision. Is there anything else you'd like me to arrange? Just knowing you're helping me make this day special is more than enough. Thank you so much for your support and willingness to go the extra mile. It's my pleasure. Birthdays are meant to be celebrated, and I'm thrilled to be a part of making yours memorable. Let's make it a fantastic event. Responding to Fire Alarm Oh no, do you hear that? The fire alarm is going off. You're right. We need to evacuate immediately. Stay calm and follow me. Should we call the fire department? Yes, absolutely. Dial emergency services and inform them about the situation while we're on our way out. I hope it's just a false alarm, but we can't take any chances. Safety first. Let's head to the nearest exit. Remember, don't use the elevator, take the stairs instead. Got it. I'm right behind you. Is there a designated meeting point outside? Yes, there's a designated area near the parking lot. We'll gather there to ensure everyone is accounted for. I hope everyone else in the building is aware of the alarm too. We'll do a quick check once we're outside to make sure nobody is left behind. I'm feeling a bit nervous, but I'm glad we're taking immediate action. It's natural to feel that way, but as long as we stay focused and follow the safety procedures, we'll be okay. Let's go. Time is of the essence.
changing the room. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about our room. I think we should consider changing it. Really? What's the issue with our current room? Well, the noise from the street is quite bothersome, and the view isn't as nice as we expected. I understand. It's important to be comfortable during our stay. Have you spoken to the front desk about this? Not yet, but I thought we could request a room change and explain the reasons for it. That sounds reasonable. Let's head down to the front desk and explain the situation. Maybe they can offer us a quieter room with a better view. Agreed. It's worth a shot. I'll express our concerns and see if they can accommodate us. Remember to be polite and understanding. They may have limited options, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Hopefully, they can find a solution that works for us. Absolutely. I'll approach the situation respectfully. Let's go and see what they can do for us. Good luck. Hopefully, we'll end up with a room that meets our expectations and allows us to enjoy a stay to the fullest. Prepare to be captivated, moved, and deeply touched as we embark on this journey of love and connection. Join us as we dive into the world of heart-to-heart -heart conversations between a mom and son where the magic lies within every word spoken and every moment shared. Let the journey begin. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Prioritizing health. A conversation on well-being. Hi, sweetheart. I wanted to have a conversation about your health and well-being. How are you feeling overall? Hi, mom. I've been feeling a bit tired lately, and I've noticed I haven't been eating as well as I should. I think I need to make some changes. I'm glad you brought this up, my dear. Taking care of your health is important. Let's discuss some ways we can improve your well-being together. I think I need to focus on getting better sleep and establishing a consistent sleep schedule. I've been staying up too late, and it's affecting my energy levels. That's a great observation, sweetheart. Having a consistent sleep routine is crucial for your overall health and mental well-being. Let's work on creating a bedtime routine that promotes better sleep. I also want to make healthier food choices. I've been relying on fast food and snacks too much. It's time to incorporate more fruits, vegetables, and home-cooked meals into my diet. I'm proud of your awareness, my love. Nutrition plays a significant role in our well-being. Let's plan meals together and explore new recipes that are nutritious and delicious. Exercise is another area I want to focus on. I need to incorporate physical activity into my routine to boost my energy and overall fitness. That's a fantastic goal, sweetheart. We can research different types of exercises that interest you and create a workout plan. It's important to find activities that you enjoy to stay motivated. Thank you for being supportive, mom. Your guidance and encouragement mean a lot to me. I want to prioritize my health and make positive changes. I'm always here for you, my dear. Your health and well-being are important to me. We'll work together to create a healthy lifestyle that benefits you in the long run. Remember, small steps lead to big changes, and I'm proud of you for taking this initiative. Building independence, setting boundaries and responsibilities. Hi, sweetheart. I wanted to talk to you about setting boundaries 
and responsibilities. As you grow older, it's important to take on more independence and contribute to our household. Hi, Mom. I understand. I want to be more responsible and help out around the house. What do you have in mind? Well, let's start with your personal space. It's important to keep your room clean and organized. Could you commit to tidying up your room regularly? Absolutely, Mom. I'll make it a habit to keep my room neat and tidy. It will also help me stay focused and organized. That's great to hear, my dear. It's not just about cleanliness. It's about taking ownership of your personal space. Additionally, how about we divide some household chores? It will teach you valuable life skills. I'm on board with that, Mom. I can take care of setting the table for dinner and helping with dishes. It'll give you some relief and I'll learn to be more responsible. I appreciate your willingness to help. And it's an excellent way for you to develop responsibility and contribute to our family's well-being. Remember, we're a team and every contribution counts. I understand, Mom. I want to be an active member of our family and take on responsibilities. I'm proud of your maturity and eagerness to step up. Setting boundaries and taking on responsibilities will not only benefit our family, but also foster your personal growth and independence. Thank you for guiding me, Mom. I want to become more responsible and learn valuable life lessons along the way. You're welcome, my dear. Together, we'll navigate this journey of growing up, setting boundaries, and embracing responsibilities. Your commitment is commendable, and I'm here to support and guide you every step of the way. Weekend Adventure, Making Plans for Quality Time. Hey, sweetie, the weekend is almost here. Do you have any plans or ideas for how we can make the most of our time together? Hi, Mom. I was thinking it would be fun to go hiking and explore a new trail. The weather is supposed to be great, and I know you enjoy nature too. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Spending time in nature and breathing in fresh air is always rejuvenating. Let's pack some snacks and make it a memorable hiking adventure. Awesome! I'll make sure to research a trail that suits our level of difficulty and offers beautiful views. I'm excited to embark on this little adventure with you. I'm excited too, my dear. It's important to connect with nature and create lasting memories together. We can also bring a camera and capture some stunning photographs along the way. That's a great suggestion, Mom. We can document our adventure and create a photo album or share them with our family and friends. I love that idea. It's a fantastic way to preserve our special moments and share our experiences. Besides hiking, is there anything else you'd like to do during the weekend? Well, I heard about a new ice cream parlor in town. It would be great to indulge in some delicious ice cream treats after our hike. That sounds like the perfect reward for a day well spent. Let's definitely treat ourselves to some sweet delights and enjoy a well-deserved ice cream feast. I can't wait, Mom. It's going to be a fantastic weekend filled with adventure, nature, and mouth-watering treats. I couldn't agree more, my love. I cherish these moments we share and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create beautiful memories with you. Let's make this weekend one to remember. Strength and Embrace, Sharing Emotional Support Hey, my sweet boy. How are you feeling today? Hi, Mom. I've been feeling a bit down lately. 
School has been overwhelming, and I've been dealing with some personal challenges. I'm here for you, my love. It's normal to have you peers and downs, and I want you to know that you're not alone. You can always lean on me for support. Thank you, Mom. It means a lot to hear that. I've been struggling with self-doubt and feeling like I'm not good enough. Oh, sweetheart, I can assure you that you are more than enough. You have unique strengths and qualities that make you special. Remember, everyone has moments of self-doubt, but it doesn't define your worth. It's just hard sometimes, Mom. I compare myself to others and feel like I don't measure up. It's natural to compare ourselves, but it's essential to focus on your own journey and progress. You have your own path to follow, and your growth is personal and unique. I believe in you, and I'm proud of who you are. Thank you for always being there, Mom. Your words give me strength. I'll always be your biggest supporter, my dear. Whenever you need to talk or simply have a shoulder to lean on, I'm here for you. You're never alone in this journey of life. I'm grateful to have you as my mom. Your love and support make a world of difference. The bond between a mother and child is unbreakable, my love. We'll face the challenges together, celebrate the victories, and embrace each other through it all. You are loved, cherished, and valued. I love you, mom. Thank you for being my rock. I love you too, my precious one. Our love will always provide you with the strength and resilience to face any storm that comes your way. Are you tired of feeling lost and frustrated when trying to order food in English? Look no further. In this exciting video, we're going to unveil the secrets to confidently navigating menus, engaging with servers, and savoring every culinary experience. Get ready to unlock a whole new world of gastronomic adventures as we embark on a journey to master the art of ordering food in English like a pro. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. Could you make that for takeaway? Hello, how can I help you? Could you make that for takeaway? Certainly. All our dishes are available for takeaway. Which item from the menu would you like to order? I'll have the grilled chicken sandwich, please. Could you make that for takeaway? Absolutely. Our grilled chicken sandwich is a popular choice. I'll make sure it's packaged to go. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Actually, could I also get a side of sweet potato fries to go with it? Of course. Our sweet potato fries are a delicious accompaniment. I'll include them with your order. Anything to drink? I'll have a bottle of sparkling water, please. Noted. I'll make sure to include the sparkling water as well. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's everything. Thank you. You're welcome. Your order will be prepared for takeaway. It'll be ready shortly. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How long will it take for my order to be ready? Hello, how can I help you? How long will it take for my order to be ready? Our current wait time is approximately 20 minutes. However, I can check with the kitchen to give you a more precise estimate if you'd like. That would be great, thank you. Thank you for your patience. The kitchen informed me that your order will be ready in about 15 minutes. Perfect. Thank you for checking. I appreciate it. You're welcome. 
Is there anything else I can assist you with while you wait? Actually, could I get a refill on my drink? Of course. I'll bring that right over for you. Please enjoy your drink while your order is being prepared. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your order is almost ready. Just a few more minutes. Thank you for your understanding. No problem at all. I'm looking forward to it. Take your time. I appreciate your patience. I'll notify you as soon as your order is ready. Hello, how can I help you? Hello, how can I help you? Hi there. I'm famished. Could you recommend a dish that's both delicious and vegetarian? Absolutely. Our chef's special today is a mouthwatering grilled vegetable medley served with a tangy citrus sauce. It's packed with flavors and perfect for vegetarians. That sounds fantastic. I'll go with that. Oh, and could you also bring a side of garlic bread with it? Of course. The garlic bread pairs excellently with the grilled vegetables. Anything else I can assist you with? Actually, I have a food allergy. Is it possible to make the dish without any nuts or seeds? Certainly. We take allergies seriously here. I'll make sure the chef prepares the dish without nuts or seeds. Is there any other ingredient we should be cautious about? No, that should be fine. Thank you for being so accommodating. You're welcome. Your order will be ready shortly. In the meantime, can I get you something to drink? I'll have a refreshing glass of iced lemonade, please. Great choice. I'll bring that right over. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. What's your featured dish? Hello, how can I help you? What's your featured dish? Our featured dish today is our signature steak au poiva. It's a tender, juicy steak coated in a rich peppercorn sauce, accompanied by a medley of roasted vegetables and creamy mashed potatoes. It's truly a culinary delight. That sounds absolutely delicious. I'll go with the featured dish then. Excellent choice. Our steak au poiva is one of our most popular items on the menu. How would you like your steak cooked? I prefer it medium rare, please. Noted. And would you like any additional sauces or condiments with your steak? May I have a side of Biharnais sauce, please? Certainly. Our Biharnais sauce pairs wonderfully with the steak. Anything else I can assist you with? I'd also like to add a Caesar salad as a starter, if that's possible. Absolutely. Our Caesar salad is fresh and flavorful. I'll make sure it's included with Yorda. And for drinks. I'll have a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, please. Excellent choice to complement the steak. I'll bring that right over. Yorda will be ready shortly. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. In a world filled with laughter, love, and unexpected surprises, Get ready for an adventure that will leave you wanting more. Meet the Johnsons, a loving family of four. Navigating the UPS and downs of family life. Sarah, a smart and spunky teenager, full of curiosity and dreams. Tim, her mischievous younger brother, always ready for an adventure. And their parents, John and Emily, a dynamic duo who are both nurturing and fun-loving. But little do their kids know their parents have planned something incredible. A surprise conversation that will change everything. Will Sarah and Tim's surprise bring the family closer than ever? Will they discover new depths of love, understanding, and connection? Don't miss this enchanting journey into the heart of family life, where surprises lead to unforgettable memories. Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. 
In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. A surprise conversation. Tim, where are mom and dad? I can't find them anywhere. I don't know, Sarah. They're usually up by now. Maybe they went out for an early morning walk or something. But they never leave without telling us. I'm getting a little worried. Don't panic, Sarah. Let's check their bedroom and see if there's a note or something. Okay, but what if something happened to them? What if they're hurt? I'm sure they're fine. Maybe they just overslept or something. Opens the bedroom door and looks around them. I don't see anything unusual here. Wait, Tim, there's a note. Really? What does it say? Tim, this is so scary. I can't believe Mom and Dad have been kidnapped. What are we going to do? I know, Sarah, but we need to stay strong. We have a list of requests from the kidnappers, and if we complete them, they promise to let Mom and Dad come back soon. Okay, let's focus. First, we need to make breakfast. I remember Mom's pancake recipe. We can try making it. That's a good idea. We'll do our best to make a delicious breakfast just like Mom does. Next, we have to clean the entire house. We should start by picking up the mess and then dusting and vacuuming each room. We'll make the house spotless, Sarah. It's a big task, but we can do it together. We also need to buy groceries and vegetables. We'll have to make a shopping list and go to the store. Yes, and we'll be careful with the budget. We'll make sure to get everything we need and stick to the list. Lastly, there are things around the house that need fixing. We can try to repair them or find someone who can help us. We'll take it one step at a time, Sarah. We'll complete the requests and hopefully mom and dad will be back soon. Making breakfast. Tim, maybe we should try making breakfast ourselves. It'll distract us. That's a good idea, Sarah. Let's give it a shot. I remember mom's scrambled eggs recipe. We just need to crack the eggs into a bowl, whisk them, and cook them on the stove. Okay, I'll crack the eggs. Cracks the first egg and ends up with bits of shell in the bowl loops. I guess I need more practice. Don't worry, Sarah. It happens to the best of us. Let me take care of the shells. Thanks, Tim. Now. It's time to whisk the eggs. Oops, again. It's all right, Sarah. We're learning together. Just be a little gentler with the whisking. Got it. Now, let's cook these eggs. It's okay, Sarah. Let's lower the heat and try to salvage them. We'll get the hang of it eventually. Cleaning the house. All right, Tim. 
Now it's time to clean the house. Let's turn this into a fun challenge. We'll clean each room and see who finishes first. I love the idea, Sarah. It'll make the task more enjoyable. I'll start with the living room. You take the kitchen. Deal. Grabs a broom and starts sweeping oops. I accidentally knocked over the dustpan. I'll get it. Haha, <laughs> no worries, Sarah. I'll help you with that. Let's try again. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let's get back to cleaning. Oops, I guess I squeezed the bottle too hard. It's okay, Sarah. We can clean up the spill together. Just be a bit more gentle next time. As the siblings continue cleaning, they face more clumsy moments and small mishaps, but they laugh them off and help each other. The house slowly starts to shine, and the atmosphere becomes lighter amidst their clumsy cleaning adventures. They realize that even in challenging situations, finding joy and supporting each other makes the tasks easier to handle. Look, Tim. The kitchen is sparkling clean now. I finished first. Congratulations, Sarah. But don't forget, we're a team. The important thing is that we work together and made the house beautiful. Great job. The siblings share a high five, feeling a sense of accomplishment and camaraderie. Cleaning the house may have been a clumsy endeavor, but the memories they created and the bond they strengthened made it all worthwhile. Buying groceries. All right, Tim, we have our shopping list. Let's go buy groceries and make this another adventure. Absolutely, Sarah. Let's make it fun. We'll pretend we're secret agents on a mission to save the day with our shopping skills. I love it. Agent Sarah and Agent Tim reporting for duty. Puts on sunglasses and a determined expression. It's all right, Agent Sarah first on the list is bread. Keep an eye out for it. Roger that, Agent Tim. Walks down the aisle and grabs a loaf of bread mission accomplished. Good job, Agent Sarah. Next up, we need milk. Let's head to the dairy section. Spots the milk cartons got it, Agent Tim. Oops. Haha, <laughs> clumsy agent strikes again. Don't worry, Sarah. Let's clean up the mess and grab our milk. Buying vegetables. Agent Tim, our next mission is to buy vegetables. Let's put our detective skills to the test. Absolutely, Agent Sarah. The vegetable aisle awaits us. Let's find the freshest and crunchiest veggies. Look, Agent Tim, I spy some carrots over there. Haha, <laughs> Agent Sarah stealth mode needs some work. Let's gather the runaway carrots and continue our mission. Right, Agent Tim. We'll make sure they don't escape again. Now we need to find some leafy greens. Let's keep our eyes peeled for the lettuce. Roger that, Agent Tim. Oops, I guess I'm not very graceful. It's all right, Agent Sarah. Let's pick up the fallen lettuce and remember to handle things with care. Agent Tim. I think we've successfully acquired all the vegetables on the list. Our mission is accomplished. Great work, Agent Sarah. Our parents would be proud. Now, let's head to the checkout counter and prepare for our triumphant return. As they continue their shopping adventure, the siblings navigate the aisles, occasionally bumping into shelves or choosing the wrong items. Despite their clumsiness, they embrace the laughter 
and fun in their shopping mission, making the experience memorable. With their cart full of groceries, the siblings proceed to the checkout counter, cherishing the amusing memories they created along the way. Clumsy or not, their teamwork and joyful spirit make the task of grocery shopping an enjoyable adventure. Fixing things around the house. Agent Tim, our final mission is to fix things around the house. We'll show those kidnappers that we can handle anything. Absolutely, Agent Sarah. Let's put on our tool belts and get to work. We're the ultimate fix-it team. Look, Agent Tim. The first item on the list is fixing that wobbly chair. We just need a screwdriver. Roger that, Agent Sarah. Remember gentle twists and steady hands. Oops, the chair is in worse shape now. Ha, <laughs> it seems like we have a knack for making things more interesting. Let's try to fix it again, shall we? Right, Agent Tim. This time successfully tightening the screw mission accomplished. Great job, Agent Sarah. Next, we need to fix that leaky faucet. We'll need a wrench for this one. Oops, we've got a mini fountain now. Haha, <laughs> Agent Sarah, our adventures keep getting splashier. Let's turn off the water and fix the faucet properly this time. As they continue their fixing mission, the siblings face their fair share of mishaps and comical moments. However, they persevere, learning from their mistakes and sharing laughter along the way. Agent Tim, We've successfully fixed everything on the list. Our mission is complete. Well done, Agent Sarah. We may be a bit clumsy, but we've shown that. We can handle any challenge that comes our way. Our parents would be proud of us. The siblings stand tall, proud of their accomplishments, and ready to face whatever comes next. Together, they've proven that even with a few mishaps, their determination and teamwork can overcome any obstacle. A lesson learned. Agent Tim, I'm exhausted. After completing all these household chores, I can't believe how much work mom and dad do for us every day. I know, Sarah. It's been a long day, and I have a newfound appreciation for everything our parents do. They take care of us, and the house without complaining. They make it seem so effortless, but now I understand the effort and love they put into it. We should thank them every day for all they do. Absolutely, Sarah. We should let them know how grateful we are. Our parents work hard to provide a comfortable home for us and they do it with a smile on their faces. We should respect and cherish their dedication, especially after experiencing it firsthand. You're right, Sarah. Let's make sure we help them more often and show them our love and appreciation. Tim, looking back, I feel terrible about how we tried to avoid helping mom and dad. We were so focused on our own wants and needs. You're absolutely right, Sarah. We took their efforts for granted and didn't realize the significance of supporting them. Remember when mom asked us to help with the groceries and we pretended to be busy with our own activities? We should have eagerly offered our assistance. And when dad needed help fixing things around the house, we made excuses and avoided getting involved. We should have been more proactive. We were so wrapped up in our own world that we failed to see the love and sacrifice they put into everything they do for us. It's time to make a change, Sarah. Let's be more attentive and willing to help. 
We need to show them that. We appreciate their efforts. Agree, Tim. We can start by actively asking how. We can assist them in taking on responsibilities without being asked. And we shouldn't just help when it's convenient for us. We need to prioritize their needs and be there for them selflessly. Surprise! Mom! Dad! You're back! We were so worried about you! What happened? Yeah, we thought you were kidnapped. Are you okay? We're perfectly fine, my darlings. We didn't really get kidnapped. It was all a test. We wanted to see how mature and responsible you both could be when faced with challenges. And we're proud of you. Wait, so the whole time it was just a test? We had to do all those chores and handle everything on our own? I can't believe it. We were so scared, but we did our best. You both did amazing. We wanted to show you that you're capable of taking care of yourselves and the house when needed. We've watched you handle the tasks with determination, teamwork, and even some clumsiness. It was all part of the test. We definitely learned a lot from this experience. We understand the importance of responsibility and appreciate all that you do for us. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping us grow and showing us that we can handle challenges. We'll strive to be more responsible and mature from now on. Kids, your mom and I want to tell you how proud we are of you. The way you expressed your regret and willingness to change truly touched our hearts. Yes, it takes maturity and humility to acknowledge our mistakes. We appreciate your honesty and desire to be more supportive. Thank you, mom and dad. We realize now how much you do for us and how important it is for us to be there for you too. We want to show our gratitude, so we thought it would be nice to celebrate as a family. Can we go out for dinner tonight? Absolutely. We love to spend quality time with all of you. Let's make it a special evening to appreciate our bond as a family. It's wonderful to see you two growing and understanding the value of being supportive. We're proud of you and grateful for your love. As the family happily agrees to dine out, there is a sense of warmth and unity in the air. They look forward to the evening, cherishing the love and appreciation they have for one another. Smart ways to improve your speaking skills. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakers. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Getting my way in to be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose it fits. I'm losing shit. A stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight. And that's it for today's English lesson. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more English language learning videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and we'll do our best to respond. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future English lessons. And if you want to take your English learning to the next level, check out our channel more often. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next English lesson.